Hi Brainbox. Welcome to Brainbox YouTube channel. In this video, get ready to sharpen your logic skills as we discuss different kinds of syllogisms and how to derive the correct conclusions like a state-of-the-art analytical machine. But before you continue, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to keep you posted for more review topics. You can also avail of our CSE books and other reviewers. Just click the link to our shop in the caption below. Syllogism is the form of reasoning where we derive a conclusion based on two given premises. We use logic rules in order to ensure that our conclusion strictly follows the established rules. A premise is a set of statements that establish logical rules that we can analyze in order to draw a conclusion, or check a conclusion's correctness. Remember that the rules established by premises do not have to reflect real life. Take for example the premise, all dogs are cats. Common sense will tell you that statement is false. However, that statement is a valid premise. When dealing with syllogism, we need to let go of common sense and just assume that all the premises are true, at least within the problem. Inside the syllogism, all dogs are considered cats. A conclusion, on the other hand, is the logical output we expect after analyzing the premises of a syllogism. Using logic rules, we can validate if the conclusion makes sense or if it violates logic. Let's have a look at the following example to see premises and conclusions in action. The first two lines we have are the premises. They establish two rules. All dogs are animals, and Jack is a dog. The third statement, Jack is an animal, is our conclusion. We can verify if a conclusion is logical by making us of logic. In this example, Jack is indeed an animal if we follow the rules set by the premise. Because Jack is a dog, and all dogs are animals, it makes sense that Jack is an animal. There are three forms of syllogisms, and our example with Jack the animal belongs to the first kind of syllogism called a categorical syllogism. The general form of a categorical syllogism is as follows. A is B, B is C, therefore, A is C. The second type of syllogism is a disjunctive syllogism, and it has the general form. A is either B or C, A is not B, therefore, A is C. Let's take a look at an example to better understand how this type of syllogism works. Say that you wanted to eat some ice cream, and you were deciding on the topping. For the first premise we have, I can choose either marshmallows or sprinkles. The second premise is that, I do not like sprinkles. The conclusion states that, I chose marshmallows as my topping. By analyzing the syllogism, we can say that the conclusion is logically sound since marshmallows were the only remaining topping choice. The third kind of syllogism we will be discussing is the conditional syllogism. In a conditional syllogism, at least one of the premises is a conditional statement following the form. If A is true, then B is also true. Conditional syllogisms can be found in three different forms, basic, contrapositive, and transitive. The basic form follows this pattern. If A is true, then B is true. A is true, therefore, B is true. Example, if George has high grades, then George is smart. George has high grades, therefore, George is smart. The contrapositive form follows the pattern. If A is true, then B is true. B is not true, therefore, A is not true. Example, if George has high grades, then George is smart. George is not smart. Therefore, George does not have high grades. It's very similar to the basic form, except this time, we're dealing with the negative, making use of B to confirm A is not true. The final form of conditional syllogisms is the transitive form, which looks very similar to a categorical syllogism, 
with the sole exception of having both premises and the conclusion as conditional, if then, statements. Example, if George has high grades, then George is smart. If George is smart, then George can easily find a job. Therefore, if George has high grades, then George can easily find a job. This part of the video will be focused on testing how well you understood syllogisms. If you still don't feel confident about this topic, take this opportunity to review the tricky forms of syllogism that may confuse you. However, if you feel confident enough, please proceed with the practice exercises. You have one minute to answer each item. Good luck! Number 1. Which of the following choices is a valid conclusion to draw from the given statements? People in the sky have diamonds. Lucy is in the sky. Therefore, timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is C. Lucy has diamonds. The syllogism given is a categorical syllogism. Number 2. Which of the following choices is a valid conclusion to draw from the given statements? If a tree falls in the forest, then it makes a sound. There was no sound, therefore, timer starts now. Time is up. The correct conclusion is B. No tree fell in the forest. This syllogism was a conditional syllogism in the contrapositive form. That's a wrap. Share this video for others to learn too. If you want to learn more, you can avail of our CSE books and other reviewers. Just click the link to our shop in the caption below. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.